Hello, let's try science. Today we are going to be talking about soil. We're going to talk about different types of soil. In class, we've been talking about weathering, erosion, deposition. Well, weathering is breaking down that rock and erosion is moving it around. Deposition is where it ends up. Well, where it ends up will also determine if additional weathering occurs. So sand, you might find sand in one place, clay in a completely different place, and silt in a different place all together. So what I'm going to attempt to do today, and you can see here from my dirt spot that I've done this before and I had a little bit of an overflow. So we're going to try to do this experiment. I am in the shelter in place situation, so I do not have my graduated cylinder, cylinders or beakers, which have a wider surface that would be much better to do this. All I have are these test tubes, so I'm going to do it very slowly. I'm using coffee filters to hold the substances, but unfortunately the coffee filters get really wet and they get floppy. So they're not the best, but I'm going to try to hold them as I'm pouring and you'll get to see a little bit and I'll talk about each of the types of soil. So first is silt. Silt is super fine. The silt I have I actually purchased at the store because it's kind of hard to just find it in Pleasanton. So this, it's even finer than our next one, which is sand, and this is beak sand, so it's pretty fine. And we're gonna see what water, how does water filter through these various substances. So first is going to be silt, and then next is going to be sand. I'm gonna prop my camera while I pour, and then I'll pick up the camera again. So first I'm gonna do silt, and then I'm going to do sand. And you can see they're both dripping through, but if I go down below, you can see that there's way more water in the sand test tube than there is in the silt test tube. And that's because the water filters much more quickly through the sand, almost instantly it goes through the sand whereas the silt, it slowly is dripping through, okay? The next two that we're going to look at are going to be gravel. Actually, I'll just tell you all three. Gravel is next, followed by humus and clay. And we talked a little bit about them, so I wanna show you that humus with all those wonderful organic materials, sticks, all sorts of things, leaves in it. So we're gonna do each of those So you're going to have your gravel and, and it's, we're not doing a competition which one does the fastest, we just want to see how the water filters through. So I can have, I can pour them individually. So your gravel you saw, hopefully even from the camera being posted, that the water went through super quick. It was just in and out and there's no water left in the top. I can find, get it there. There's no water left in the top. And the next one is your hummus. Well, the water is going through. It's dripping through slowly, which is good. But if you look up here, look at all the water that's staying in the soil. That's making that soil sticky. It's allowing it to, like a sponge, keep the moisture so roots, anything growing in this is going to get the water. You don't sand. It just went through so quickly. Those poor plants trying to grow in sand, they wouldn't get any of the water. That's why sand and gravel aren't the best for most types of plants. And then the clay, well, the clay's having a really difficult time. Yeah, we're getting a little drip, a little drip. But if you look down, almost nothing has gone into the clay's receptacle because it's all still trapped up here. So clay, though, looks very similar to hummus is different because it the materials are so tightly packed and they are kind of they work like glue so as they get wet they absorb they swell up and they close off you might have even heard of clay pots well clay pots are where you take clay and you heat it until it gets so hot that it hardens and then you actually can put something in it and put water in it and it won't drip through or at least not very quickly so those are some of our types of soil, and you can kind of see why 
certain soils are going to be better for planting and certain soils are going to be better for filtering the water. Sand and gravel would be best for filtering the water and humus would be the very best for planting. If you wanted to plant with a more clay-based soil, you might want to add a little bit of sand or a little bit of gravel just to put some loose air spaces in between to allow that water to filter through. So there's a little quick overview of soil.